Hello again, and welcome to the second video on installing and licensing ArcGIS. In the last video, I showed you how to obtain your authorization code and download the software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually install the software and then authorize it on your computer so you could use it. Now, in the last video, I downloaded ArcGIS 10.6, but in this video, I'm going to be installing ArcGIS 10.3. Don't worry about it. As long as you're using one of the versions that I mentioned in the last video that was supported, you are good to go. So one thing I want to note right off the bat is that ArcGIS only runs on Windows. So if you are running a Mac or a Linux or some other machine, you need to install Windows if you want to run ArcGIS. For those of you running a Mac computer, I am attaching a link in the resources for this video lecture that shows you how to install uh, Windows on your Mac. For those of you running Linux or another operating system, I trust that you know how to figure that out yourself or search the web for it. So skipping ahead to when we have the software downloaded and are now ready to install it, I'm on, now on a machine that doesn't have ArcGIS installed. It'll look a little different than some of the other demos because I'm installing it on a clean virtual computer so that I can demonstrate the full process to you. So here's the installer that I downloaded. Yours will probably come in in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. And I'll just double click it to open it up and it's going to extract the files first. And so it's just looking for a location to extract the data to. I'll keep the default and click next and it's going to work on extracting the data. Once it's done, I can leave this box checked to launch the setup program automatically so I don't have to go find it. So I'll do that and then close it. And then now it's asking me to run the installer. And the important thing to note here is you need administrator privileges on the computer you're running on. So some of you who are working on this on maybe a work machine or machine administered by somebody else, you will need permissions or credentials or whatever you usually need to install software in order to get that installed. On this computer, this account has administrator privileges, so I'll click yes and install the software. For those of you who aren't really familiar with Windows, this is pretty typical Windows installation here. It's using a standard Windows installation and it's going to tell you it's strongly recommended that you exit all Windows programs before running this setup program. That's really not a big deal. You're better off if you do, but I run installs all the time without doing that. So it's up to you. And next I'll click the next button. And again, you have a license agreement. You'll have to accept it and click next. And we'll just do the complete installation here. Just install everything. If you want, you can go through a custom installation. I'll click next. It asks me where I'd like to install it. I'll leave it in the default location and click next again. And then it's asking me where it should put Python, the programming language it uses to do a lot of its work. And I leave that in the default location as well, unless you have a good reason not to. So I'll click next. And then it asks if you want to participate in their customer experience improvement program. That's up to you. It's going to anonymously send some data to Esri to help improve the software. I'll leave that checked for this installation. Up to you. It won't affect how your software performs. And then I'll click install. And from here, this may take as long as 20, 30 minutes, depending upon how fast or slow your machine is. It might even take a little longer than that. So just walk away, go do something else for a little while and come back when it's done. Once it's done installing, you'll get this familiar dialogue saying it's finished and I'll click finish, but we're still not done because once we finish installing the software, we need to authorize it. We need to install our license. And it's not like you type a key like you're used to with other software or just load a file. There's a lot more to it. And there are slight instructions that Esri gives you on the web page that you loaded before with your license information and in the email they'll send you, but I think it misses a few pieces. So let's go through it here. To start with, the type of license you have is an advanced single use license. So click that and all of a sudden this item number two down here, launch the authorization wizard becomes available for you to use. So you can click authorize now and a dialogue will pop up. And there are a few options here, but what we have going is that we have installed our software and we need to authorize it. So we need to click next and we'll authorize now using the internet. If you have a different way that you need to do it, you can, but I'm going to go through this method here. And here's where we need to put all that information in that we put in earlier. So I will put that in now and then I'll click next. And once I'm done filling in that information, I'll get this screen here asking for my organization, my industry, information about myself. This is just for Esri's 
information on who's using the software. It's not to validate your license anymore. So I'll put mine. Click next. And once again, it's asking for that authorization code. So I'll put that in here and click next. And in this case, we're going to click, I do not want to authorize any extensions at this time. What's going to happen here is this authorization code is going to download a whole lot of other information. We don't have separate authorization codes for these. So once it downloads that information, it's going to authorize a lot of these extensions for us anyways, at least the ones we'll need. So I'm going to click, I do not want to authorize any extensions at this time and click next. And it's going to offer to give you a trial. Don't ask for the trial. It's going to authorize them anyway, as I said, click next. And it's going to look up some information with Esri on the internet and eventually come back and tell us everything's authorized. Okay. And when it's done, it'll say, congratulations, your software is authorized and ready for use. And I'll click finish and it pops up ArcGIS administrator. We don't have to do anything in here anymore, but just to verify that our license is installed, I'm going to click this availability tab and it tells me what licenses I have and which ones are authorized. And I can see that those extensions like spatial analyst are in fact authorized and I can see when they expire. And at this point I have ArcGIS installed and licensed and I can open it up if I want to. And it goes through initializing the license. And once it gets past there, I know that my license is working. So that's it for this lesson. In this lesson, I showed you how to obtain your authorization code for this course, how to download the software and create your account and how to install and install that license for ArcGIS so that you can get it up and running. Thanks very much. See you next time.